Hello, I'm Tiffany. Almost two years ago, my husband, me and our two children made the life-changing move to rural France, along with our two dogs, three horses and two guinea pigs. Since then, we have acquired more beautiful faces and many more experiences along the way. Welcome to my donkey story and adventures in rural France. Just quickly, for anyone else who has seen our, on my previous vlog, the tractor's in. Here it comes. <laughs> Ta-da. And with all our other stuff, Mick is now very happy. As the tractor has made it into the barn. Along with lots of other stuff that we've yet to do but it's in there when I say lots of other stuff you can hear something else hello and welcome back I've missed you all Hope you all had a lovely Christmas and happy new year to everybody. Um, I'm really sorry I've not done any filming, just unexpectedly really. Been busy with bits with Christmas, stuff going on. Oh, can't see much. Um, but we're all fine here. And one reason why we've been really busy is because of this. This is one reason we've been busy. Fleur, we have a pet lamb. Fleur, come say hi to everybody. No, she's more interested in eating a wooden door. I think she's teething. Fleur, Fleur. Fleur's been bottle fed and taken up about 90% of my time, which I don't mind because she is just absolutely adorable. Fleur, hi, say hi. There's Fleur. <laughs> I think, don't think she's camera shy. So Flair the lamb came around because um, I went to do some foraging for Christmas wreaths and things. I was doing a fair um, and our friend John, who is a farmer, he's a sheep farmer. He has lots of land and has lots of greenery and bushes and holly. <laughs> it's just Dean, she shouldn't be in here. She should be out there with the rest of them. Um, and whilst we were um, foraging, he said, oh, I've just got to go and feed the lambs. And I went, oh, my God, like, can we help you? Um, so there were two gorgeous little lambs there. Um, and I just said, I said to John, so where will these lambs go? Where? And he said, oh, they'll probably be going to market. Not necessarily for me. I just don't know. It could be for breeding. <clears throat> anyway, so I went home and said to Mick, oh, you know, we've got the land if we could. And he said, oh, I like sheep. So I was like... Excellent, that's my Christmas present from you then. I'm just about to muck the horses out because the horse and the donkeys have got the farrier in the morning. So then they'll have nice dry feet for him. So I'm going to get started. Hi, Justine. You shouldn't be in here. No. Somehow you got through the fencing. You should be over there. Shouldn't you? Good morning. Just woken up as you can tell. And we've woken up to this. Here's Manor. They've got shelter, but they've obviously just decided to stand out in it. Manor, come and have some warm breakfast. It's coming. Oh, Manor.
So that's everything done with the horses. They're all ready for the farrier tomorrow and enjoying their hay. As you can see, Brooklyn here, um, she is 30 in May. She's an absolute superstar and doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be back doing regular videos. I have got a floral tutorial coming out. Um, just a really quick spring flowers one, so keep an eye out for that. And we also have lots of exciting projects and plans coming up to do with the land. And so stay tuned. Please, please like, subscribe, share and press the notifications button because I will be back bugging you all. Um, and also tell me if there's anything in particular you want to see. I can go and do it for you here. It's no problem. So thank you for watching. Take care and see you soon. Thank you.